welcome to sitting together. Nice with a cuppa. <laughs> you, you're getting really good at this. You I are. am, hello. You are, really good. <laughs> so this is the I'm show vanishing. where we review food that obviously is nice with a cuppa. Now, my cup's empty, bit of milk in the us all. Are you going to play mother? No, I did it last time. Okay. You can be mother. Now, this mug you give me today says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. You've told me As something, always. something magical is going to something happen. Something magical will happen. You watch. Okay. You watch. This is very exciting. Put it down because you're going to tip it on your pants. Oh dear, we don't want that, do we? No. I love this cup. My sister bought this for me. Ooh. A couple of years ago, I think. Fills it careful nicely. Now. Careful. Oh, it's a lovely strong cup, okay? Uh, Just how I like it. You need a strong one. Nothing's happening. <laughs> it will. It will. Cheers. Cheers. It's, it is happening. Um, thumbnail? Oh, it is happening. Oh. It's changing. It's happening slowly. It's changing. It's changing. Mine doesn't change, mine just... Hey, you should have said, mug of the day! Oh no, we're not Kate. <laughs> Love you, Kate. So it oh, says... Look, 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 look. Mm, What's that say? Mooney Wormtail Padford and Prongs are proud to present... The Marauder's Map. Oh, I like it. That's what happens with the Marauder's Map in... Oh, look um, at that! In Harry Potter, Very clever, changes. I can drink some now. Cheers. Bottoms up. Mmm. You mentioned the thumbnail, Kay. I did. Today's food review show, I have hit the Morrison's Christmas Bakery. After our last show, the donuts, link is in the comment of that show. Not the you comments, like, in the description. You like those, The donuts were incredible, so I Bre went back to Morrison's. Else? Yeah, everything else is a bit of a miss. And I also went to Waitrose and I've got the night before Christmas mince pies. The Marmite of mince pies. Is it Marmite in them? I hope not. Oh, I would, I'd like to. So let's start with a thumbnail of all these goodies. What, what would you like to hold? Um, this. Ooh. I'll hold these. <clears throat> and this. And, are you ready to look ridiculous? Always. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. I think that's enough for now. Let's start then with. Oh, oh you got, let's start with that. That's let's start heavy. with that because I saw these in the supermarket, <coughs> Cadbury hoods, and it said on them new. Now tell me, have you? Oh, it's not a very really good label, but there we go. Have you seen those before? I thought I had. Years ago. Years and years ago. I don't know why I I'm convinced that they are not new. I'm sure they have been out before. I... If you hadn't said they said new, I would... It's a milk chocolate with a truffle fill-in. Chopped hazelnuts and Rice Krispies. I am convinced they have been out before. If you know, in the comments tell us, are these new for 2021 or... Are they a have they been released before? Maybe, though, but something. they're not new then, are they really? So... Well, no. Let's give oh, it a go. Pick a, whoa, whoa, before you do, let me oh, just say. Sharp knife. What's that there? A bit of Christmas tree, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Why are they putting Christ Krispies in everything? To, it's to it's bulk it out, because you know, chocolate is expensive, oh. yes. Here we go, let's cut this in half. Oh. There's can, the pud. I heard the crunch then. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's not fair, is it? Here's the inside. <laughs> Let's have a little try of this. It's a truffle centre, milk chocolate on the outside. Oh, who would I got them? Easter egg. Mm. That's what I... That That's nice. Smell taste. It is I, nice. like yeah, I like that. Mm. Yeah. Got chopped hazelnuts, crispy bits. I like the chocolate on the outside. Mm -hmm. Is it dairy milk? I'm not sure. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Mm. I'm not eating all of it. No, we've got loads to go today. So, Cadbury Pud. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'd give, I give it a 10 out of 10. And it's good until March next I'd year. I'd buy it again, but is it new? We don't know. I don't think so. Shall we go next for some more chocolate? 
Or some cake? No, let's have cake in between. Okay. Just to, you know, Cleanse the relax palette. the palate Of course, on. yes. Next we've got five spiced caramel flavour biscuit donuts. Now, spiced caramel, that is those biscuits you like that I don't like. Oh, um... I know what you mean, but I can't think what, what they're called. What are they called? Speculoos or something. What's it called? Speculoos. We're back on Harry Potter. Right, come on now, come on. We need to get uh, better at this. F f Everyone is doing them. They come in all sorts of different... Oh, that's what they give you in, on your side... Uh, your With your coffee? Plate. Yeah, yeah. I can't think about that. I really can't think about they come. Those little spiced caramel biscuits that come with your coffee. That's the flavour inside you. It'll come to me. So. Oh. There it is. It's got lots of powdered sugar on it. You're not leaving these behind when you go, are you? Oh, yes. Oh, God. The other sat... Oh. oh, that's a bit disappointing. Let's go half and half there. There's a lot of caramel in there. I'm going to choose your half. Oh, this one. Thank you. Ooh, There's a lot actually, of caramel in there. You've got a lot of caramel that, anyways. Yeah, that's... I thought that was disappointing when you first cut into mm. it because it didn't like... Well, that but half look. is empty. Oh, right. That's there was powdered <laughs> sugar everywhere. Well, there might be more. What are those biscuits called? No, Lotus. Lotus biscuits. That's the one. Hey, <laughs> let's try it. Mmm, I like it. Mm. Yeah. It tastes like a mince pie. I wouldn't say it tastes like the lotus biscuits. It tastes like a cinnamon caramel. Mm. Nice though, and the donut, uh, the, yeah, the donut's nice. Where's that from? Morrison's. Oh, again. See, they're getting good with them. They're they donuts are delicious. Donuts, yeah. 55p for a pack of five. Mm. Oh, bargain. 10 out of 10. That. Your appetite's back, eh? It is. Well, kind of. Mm. I'd give them a 10 out of 10. Mm. Most definitely. Delicious. Did we mark that one? Yes, the pud. Mm. I'd give that a 10 out of 10 as well. Okay. I must be hungry. Yeah, so that's... that's I, nice. I, like, I like the caramel in that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What shall we go for next? You got any crisps? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no crisps. Shall we? Do we go for another chocolatey thing? Go on then. Have you tried these? No. Lint snowflakes. No, I love these. Now, I've discovered something about lint chocolate. Mm -hmm. In Asda, have you ever tried, they are two for three pounds, the bars, the long bars. You know the posh bars mm -hmm. of chocolate, yeah? yeah? They do lint in those, don't they? And they do a Excellent. milk... Excellent. Yeah, that's it, mm -hmm. yeah. They do a, a milk chocolate, a dark chocolate, you know, dark chocolate with chilli, all those kind of different flavours. And I've bought the lint milk, cho milk chocolate and been disappointed every time. And can't figure out why it doesn't taste like the chocolate that you have on Lindo balls. Got you. You need to buy, in those long bars, yeah. the classic milk chocolate. Oh. Which is a thicker bar, not the thin yes. bars. Yeah. And that's the chocolate they use on these. Ah, uh, right. So a little tip for you there. So, here we go. The Lindt Snowflake. A milk chocolate with a creamy white filling. There Ooh. it is. I wonder how creamy... It's not very it is. big, is it? 65 yeah, pence each. I know, yeah, I know, but you don't eat that much, do you? Oh. Let's be fair. Well, that looks, like, looks smell oh, that's it. It smells me of something. delicious. I can smell it from here. Oh, yeah. That is reminding me of something from my childhood. Here we go. <gasps> I know. Mm -hmm. There used to be a chocolate you could get that was just like a sandwich. So it, was, it looked just like mm. that. Mm. Isn't that incredible? I haven't got the taste yet. That's all going down. Yeah, that's nice. That is the balls, definitely. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I'm not going to finish it, but I like that. Okay, I'm going to take a point off the pud because I give that a 10 out of 10, mm -hmm. but the snowflake is definitely Better. more than this. Yeah, yeah, the chocolate's So later. the snowflake from Lint is going to score a 10 out of 10. The pud, which is not new, in my opinion, is going to be a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah. Well, it's still good though, isn't mm. it? Mmm. Mmm. I love them. Should we try the Stollen? Yeah. Now this... Now, go on. Go on, now you say. Go Do on. you like marzipan? No. I'll go, this is something I don't really like. So this says, sweet bread with marzipan, dried mixed fruit and glacé cherries, topped with a spiced glaze and a sugar dusting. 
Do you know, I know who would like this. Mm -hmm. My brother Phil. £1.70 from the Morrison's Christmas Bakery. Now, when I went in, some of these were shaped like this. Some were shaped really flat and stretched out, and some were a big mound. So I think mm. it depends on who's baking during the day. Yeah, well, then... <laughs> So the one would be more of a flatbread. Mine, that's quite flat, isn't it? Should I just break like in half? Bread. Oh, yeah, there's the marzipan. Yeah, I'm not a, a marzipan lover. There we go. Where is it? Oh, this looks delicious. Take a big chunk. Oh, my God, what's that? <laughs> is that marzipan? Yeah. Can I just eat the top? Here bit? we go. The bread <laughs> is nice and soft. Mm. Yeah. Even even though I took a bit from the top, I still mm. got the marzipan. I, and I, mm. I don't like marzipan. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Not. I love that. Mm. It's a ten out of ten. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> look there. Look at that. Like, oh. The bread is quite sweet. Bread's nice, but... You've got the dried fruit in there. I wouldn't say there's any cinnamon in the bread. Did they say there was? No. Oh, it's got a top to the spiced glaze. It didn't quite get that. No. But the marzipan in there, mm mm mm. Absolutely delicious. You can keep that one for your tea, Kay, okay? <laughs> I'll leave that Take in there that. for your no, tea for you. We'll feed that to the birds. <laughs> now, confession to the next one. We've got four deep filled mince pies. They're Morrison's best. And the confession is, I've tried Beaten these already. <laughs> <laughs> these are my go-to mince pies every oh. year. Mm -hmm. Tradition. Tradi traditions, yes. If you see our video sitting together this week, we talk about Christmas traditions. And I didn't mention mince pies. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. oh. Now these are pastry with a spiced apple, sultana, currant, cherry, mixed peel and brandy filling, topped with sugar dusting, and this product contains alcohol. Now, I love these. However, I do already know the ones I've had this year have not been as nice as ones in previous years. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Are we gonna try this and then that? Oh, or should or, we keep these for last? No, because we need to have a good um, good way of judging the, the two tastes. So either that, that, then that, or that, then that. So you want to leave Heston, Blumenthal. Well, mm. Okay, let's leave the Heston mince pies and these mince pies then. Okay, cross yes. over to Do the best the Christmas loaf. Yes, I don't know what this is. I just right. pick this up and run. All right, shall I tell you what's in this? Yes, please. Sweet bread with raisins, sweet and dried cranberries and mixed peel. Now that's, mm. that sounds very appealing to me. So do you have a bit better? I would, yes. Is I, it a cake or best, sweet well, bread? Well, no, I said bread. It's bread, but I see it's a mix, isn't it? It's like... It's not panettone though, is it? No, 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 no. Be, no. Panettone is more cake, isn't it? Hmm. This looks bready to me. I really like the look of this one. It does look good. Clear the plate. Here you go. Should I cut? Should I be? Should we show? Oh, that Ooh. feels good. That feels yeah, good in your hand. That's a proper. That's a proper loaf. loaf. Yeah. And how much is this again? Two, two pounds. pounds. Yeah. So two pounds. That's good. From the Christmas bakery. Have a wonderful Christmas, they're telling you. The only problem, yes, two pounds, but I'd add probably two pounds with a lure pack on it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want a knobby end? Oh, there? go on then. Excuse fingers. Oh. We've, right, we've got some of the middle of the that donut. That is on. soft. It's got a nice crispy outside, <laughs> but the inside is really soft. Look at that. It is fresh. Is this. Very fresh. Made today? That's before the. 16th and today is the I don't know 15th 15th is I got some of the carola from the donut from the at the end today <laughs> this I mm, this does I said when you laid it all out I did say that looks very tempting mm. to me right chocolate I do love cranberries as well it smells nice actually it smells like like donut a donutty smell and you know well, a good thing for bread is for mm -hmm. me is if it looks like it all squashed together nicely. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Mm. Here we go. Oh! You had a bit hanging there. Mm. Oh, it's the caramel. I like this. 
very much. This we'll go oh, nice that. with cheese. Some cheddar. Oh, it would. Mm. Yes, a piece of or cheddar. Even a soft cheese. Dill. Yes, a soft cheese Ooh. would be very nice with that. I've got some soft cheese. Oh my gosh. I could put it in there. Shall we? Mmm. Mm. I love that. This. What would that like toasted? I think it would ruin it. But then again, I might, you might not. It's so fresh. That is. Oh my gosh. I love it. Have that, uh, you know, cut that bit. Have that bit. I like how I'm having my own. I'm having a full slice. The Don't best. butter on it. It's nice to sit on his own. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't need the butter. I would definitely have this with cheese. Some cheddar or some Wensley Dill and apricot. Mm. I was going to say Wensley Dill with cranberries, but you might over overload. Apple, raisin, sultanas, cranberry. Look at that. Actually, that's and it's full of fruit, isn't it? Yeah. Full. Fabulous. Mm. Well done. I love that. Yeah. Can I give that 11, please? 10 out of 10. Can we give it a 10 plus? You can give it 11. I like that. See, I am moving towards being a more of a savoury person. And that hits that yeah. sweet a spot little, yeah. at being savoury yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're right, it'd be lovely with cheese. I'm buying that again. Oh, do you know what? I'd love that. That'd be nice dipped into a soup. Mm. Mm. This is a Christmas Eve food. Yes. Definitely. Imagine that glass of sherry, <gasps> cheese, with, that. With a korma. That would be it lovely would, with a korma. It would, it would, it? it would, yes. Because you've got the fruit in there, like a yes. pishwari naan bread. Yes. The, oh, yeah. Oh. Sold. Right. Get in the kitchen. I haven't got korma to make. That. Korma. Make us a korma. Morrison's. Keep doing what you're doing, because this review yet again yeah, is going yeah, to be a ten out of ten. Yeah. Mm. That, yeah. Very, very. Oh, right. Okay. The decider. Mhm. Mm Morrison's versus Heston. Well, you had a Tesco finest mince pie in the last food review show. Yeah, and we we didn't like it, did we? It wasn't very. It was fair. Cold, it was too. bland. It was. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Okay. Not Ooh. much alcohol in it. And is there in here? Oh yes. And there was in that. But no, I will warn you. One. Is there I, alcohol in that one? Um, in the Heston ones. Mm. Yes, it's cream sherry. But those, the Heston mince pies, the night before Christmas mince pies, they are not your regular mince pie, okay? And they, well, it's all over Twitter and Facebook about how these are the Marmite of mince pies because some people love them and some people absolutely hate them. Well, I did say I'd love them if there was Marmite in them. Well, there's no marmite in them. But I can't These, <laughs> the, the best mince pies from Morrison's, deep filled. These used to be my favourite. They are my <clears> go-to <throat> mince pie at Christmas time. The pastry used to be like a shortbread biscuit. Mm. Not so much anymore. I'll, you'll see when you Why try. Why do they change things? I know. And the filling, this year for some reason, I'm finding it very, very sweet. Okay. But you're going to be the judge because you haven't tried these before. No. Do you want one to yourself? No. No, thank you. Okay. I'm waiting for my korma. <laughs> so, yeah, I could, I could, I could really do the korma now with that bread. So, there it is. got a silver foil tray. Let's pop it out of there. There's no room left on the plate. Should have brought two. There we go. Ah, but is it filled deeply? Shall we find out? Yes, please. Soggy bottom? Oh, no. no. No siri. Let's give this a cut. <gasps> that Ooh, is deep filled. It's nicely filled. That is deep filled. Now, as I said in the last episode, the best way to test a mince pie is by clearing the pastry first. First. Why am I repeating your last word? You <laughs> say there's <laughs> something wrong with me. Oh, that is buttery. That that is buttery. That is back. Shortbread. Do what I remember? Definitely. Yes. Mm. That is a proper shortbread pastry on there. Mm. You shouldn't look too deeply, really, should you? Because that looks like a worm there. Yeah, don't look. What do you think of the pastry? I love the pastry. Now the mince meat. Mm. 
Yeah, that's back. That's back to how I remember it. I like that. You get the alcohol. That's a strong taste. Mm. Yeah, very nice. That's got a strong very nice, yeah. alcohol like in the raisins. The minced meat is sweet. I'm not finding this one too sweet. Mm. Nice with the cuppa. Very nice with the cuppa. Mmm. That is real shortbread. Mmm. Now these. £1.75. For four of those deep filled. And do you know when you've, if, I don't know if you've ever been up to London at Christmas time and you see the mince pies in Harrods or you see mince pies in um, uh, Fortnum and Mason's yeah. and you think, oh, at that price they must be it's absolutely be, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So you buy a pack, £9, £10 for a pack and you get them. Bland. Yeah, just a standard mince pie. Standard. If you bought them at £10 in Fortnum and Mason and you had that mince pie, well, you'd be saying to yourself, oh, worth it. that was worth every yeah, penny. Definitely. These are £1.75 for four. How much does that make them each? There's too much brandy in that to work there, okay. <laughs> 30, 35? It makes them a bargain, that's 40. what it makes them. Because that is the best. Now, 45. Warmed with some Ooh, clotted cream. That would be nice. And the clotted cream sits beautifully. <gasps> no. On the top of those, it sits beautifully you know what on I the top of there. Go on, don't say a coma. No, evaporated <laughs> milk. Yes, yes. Oh, I would oh like yeah, that would be delicious. That, yeah. So they are, in Spinning. my opinion, this year's best mince pies. <laughs> but we haven't tried. Oh, Heston. The chef himself. Heston Blumenthal's The Night Before Christmas Mince Pies. Are you ready for this? I think I am. It says with it, look, about heating. Oh, yeah. it's the same thing to on, serve warm. The same thing on here. 10 to 12 minutes at gas mark for 180 mm -hmm. degrees. You've got to be very careful when you heat up the mince because it gets so yeah, hot. Yeah, it's very hot to put in your mouth. So these are six mince pies made with carrot and caraway short crust pastry. And Ooh. I said cardamom last time. It's not cardamom, it's caraway. caraway. With a rich mince meat of vine fruits, carrot, clementine, and laced with cream sherry. Now, I do like a cream sherry at Christmas. Don't we all? Here no, we I prefer port. <laughs> Would you like one for yourself? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I know. Well. Go on, have one yourself. Treat, Look at treat yourself. It's Christmas. That's unusual shape. It's like a little pork pie. Now, they smell different already. And you can see... Where is, this looks really homemade, doesn't it? That's not it? a soggy bottom. It no. does look homemade. Where is, the little bits come out there. It's got like a... Is that a V on the top? Well, I thought it was um, like where a, a bird has left an imprint in the snow. Oh, it's a clock! It's a clock! It's it's the night before Christmas mince pie. It says 10 to 12. Of course it is. <laughs> it takes a genius. It really does. Yes, yeah, that little bird climbing on top of that mince no. pie. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Oh my so, gosh. It already smells unusual. Oh. It's, it's not like, bad. It's like, um, car car caraway. It smells it like aniseed. It's like, is that aniseed? Mm. It's not licor it's licorice gonna, aniseed. Let, let's cut yeah. it in half. Oh, I'm going to just split mine. You're going to split look, it, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, well done. It well, looks dry. Oh, oh dear. It's full though. <laughs> that looks very dry. Right, don't judge though before you've tried. Hmm, okay. It smells <laughs> nice because it smells unusual. Is that aniseed? But Is caraway would, an aniseed flavour? I'm not sure, I've never tried caraway I was going to say, what would that come from? I don't you know. know the, I'm going to try the pastry first, because the pastry it says... Well, that's got the carrot in though. It's carrot and caraway short crust pastry. It is aniseedy. I like that. That's, that reminds me of, you know, Ooh. if I wanted to know, if somebody said to me, you know the film Aladdin, mm -hmm. the Disney film, if you had to, have you ever tried, um, what does a place taste like? Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. I knew where you were going with that. And that's what you think it would... It would, it, it, if, like, yeah. if, if you were asking me what Aladdin the film tastes yeah. like, that would be the taste. It's Turkish, it's almost... Rose, it's almost, it's, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's I, that little bit of spice. Mm. Um, There's mm. definitely aniseed in there. That's aniseed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Caraway. It's a it very, yeah. 
Uh, look it exotic up. taste. Um, I'll look it up. Yeah. Which I'm going to try the mincemeat now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I, I like that. It's a bit dry. I like that very much. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I've just got a... But I do like that. That's aniseed. Nice the pepper. It's Arabian. It's an Arabian flavour. I don't know if you explain that. Next week, we'll be on a flying carpet coming your way. <laughs> I can show you the world. <laughs> <laughs> that. Mm. I like that. I like it. Is it a mince pie? No, it's not a mince. Well, not how we know them. <laughs> it's different. I need to say on it, but alternative didn't it or something like that what what is this um seed or who? caraway caraway right let's do this are you get try it again are you, are you getting the sherry in there no i'm not getting any alcohol no. kind of oh <laughs> take your breath <laughs> Sorry. Away. oh it's, it's, it's <laughs> google's picking you up <laughs> hang on try again i'm confused what is caraway Caraway I like it, seeds. but I don't understand it. It's a plant. Oh, Persian cumin. Oh. cumin. What did I say? Persian, oh Arabian. Do you know what? Talk about a sophisticated palate. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Caraway, also known as Meridian fennel and Persian cumin, is a biennial plant in the family Apiaceae, <laughs> native to Western Asia. It's a member of the card family. Oh yeah. So is it aniseed, the kind of... Does it say that though? No, finely divided feathery leaves. What flavour is caraway, really? Yeah. Bittersweet. My licorice, anise, anise. Yeah. Yeah, you can taste that in there. Now, I think... If, you know, at Christmas time, you get dates, you get Turkish delight, you do get those Arabian kind of mm -hmm. flavours. If these had been made 50 years ago, I think these would be on everyone's table yeah, yeah, they, now. Yeah. Because they would become a Christmas tradition. It would have, it would have yeah. Yeah, because that flavour is definitely a... Persian delight. Yeah, an exotic, <laughs> an exotic kind of, oh, this is luxurious, this mm. is... What would you want with that? It is dry. It does need something. Would, would clotted cream work on the top of that? Yeah. It it needs more. I want you know when you have that bit of fire with the alcohol. The Morrison's one is giving you that little bit of oh, there's mm. alcohol in this. Mm -hmm. You don't get that with these. No, it's, my, it's yeah, mild. They do need. In. I want the alcohol in there. I want to taste the fire. Mm. I want to well, know. Maybe you need brandy butter with it. We, that would that could work. But at the same time, they chewy. So you do get that kind of date, kind of mm. uh, Turkish delight, that kind of chewiness really, and richness. Yeah, a lovely, distinct flavour. Yes, very distinct, very nice flavour. I'm going to try that last bit. I'm going to finish it off. I can't. I'm full. Very nice. I like that. I'm going to have some more of that. After. It leaves you curious as to wanting more mm -hmm. just to make sure what you tried tastes like what yeah, you tried. Yeah, yeah, what you're thinking it is. This this nice shiny bit there. I actually, I do really like that pastry. Do you know what? Oh, well done. I can't actually. give it a 10 out of 10. Why? Yeah. It's not a mince pie. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm torn really because I want to give it a 10 out of 10 because it is delicious. But I can't make out what it is. I don't know. It's different. It That's is what different. It is. It's different. It's not something you're used to. Right, 10 out of 10. It's having a 10 out of 10. It's, it's, having, yeah. it's having a 10 out of 10. Well done, Heston. Heston, good job. Night before Christmas, mince pies. 10. I'll do the tap, do the tap. 10 out of 10. <clears throat> they are... Deliciously different. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's putting it well, yeah. The Stolen K from Morrison's. I like that. I liked it. You didn't like it because you like marzipan. I don't like marzipan. So. Um, it's very nice bread, sweet bread. I, it's not quite the same bread as that. This, is, this has got a bit more spice to it. The loaf is absolutely delicious. Yeah, that's stonking. 10 out of 10. Stonking. The deep filled mince pies from Morrison's. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. The spiced caramel flavour donuts. 
10, ten out, out of 10. ten. And I think we have oh, the, the lint snowflake. Love them. Yeah, 10 out of nice, 10. Nice. And the cab. See, I wouldn't put. give those 10 because of the lint. my chocolate thing. I'm not, it's mm. the, you know. But you can go with what you. Cause, well, yeah. I give it 10 out of 10. How much do you give it? Yep, yeah, this is my preference. Go on. I, I give it five. I'll give it five. Five? And the Cadbury's Pud. Oh, four. Four. Now, if you know if the Cadbury Puds are brand new, never been released before, tell us in the comments. I don't think they are. See, I'm wondering if we there used to be something Easter the same as that, and maybe that's what you've got. No, no. they were definitely out Christmas definitely. time. Cadbury puddings, they were out Christmas time before. They are not new. And that concludes today's food review. Now, that was a good one, Kay. It was, it was nice we for the cuppa. Some, it was very nice for the cuppa. Oh, I, I've lost my map. Yeah, you're back to that because it's the cooled map down. Gone. Oh, let's top it up. It's not, it won't be that hot. It won't be hot enough. No, well, it might be. Are you solemnly swearing? We're slowly going, slowly, slowly. So, if you enjoyed this food review, you know what you have to do. You have to... Like. Subscribe. Share. Oh, yeah. Comment. And if you want to see the next episode, hit the notification button and you'll get a little bing telling us we're back on. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this show, my name is Peter. And I'm Kay. If you didn't enjoy this show, my name is... Santa. And I'm Claus. Hey! Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.